car guys, the payoff, what we've all been waiting for. What are you looking for? Well, you can't come to Mercedes-Benz Stadium or Atlanta without talking about the 70,000 people who are going to be here. And this is a city that deserves this occasion. The financial investment of the ownership, the emotional investment of the fans. It is a group of people and a city that deserves this occasion. On the field, there are going to be special moments tonight, whether it's a save, whether it's a goal, whether it's a move. I'm excited to see who does that big moment and how it comes. We knew it would be special in there. We knew that the crowd was going to bring it. Um, I had said before the game that I thought it was going to be the biggest MLS game that I've ever played in. There was a different flair to this game. You could, you could, different feel to it, you know, you could sense it. You, you go in the stadium, you actually see the away supporters there as well, and and then you just see all the fans being really like, it's like so emotionally invested already, like a few hours before the game, which you know it definitely had a different feel to it. This MLS Cup is Atlanta's to lose because Atlanta is the MLS Super Club. It's not LA, it's not Seattle, it's not New York. Uh, this is the club by which all others are measured. There is a, as many people at, that love this team as hate this team. And what they have done over the last two years is remarkable in terms of the level of relevancy, the level of success that they have had on and off the field. But now they need that exclamation point. I'm telling you right now, Atlanta is a better team than Portland. I know it, Atlanta knows it, and guess what? Portland knows it. But Atlanta, you gotta take it. You have to take it and give this city the title that they are craving because you know what? Portland is not gonna give it up without a fight. Hold nothing back. The season's over. This is the last game of the season. You're playing the biggest game of your life, biggest game of your career for most of these guys. What I would tell them is, don't take it for granted because these moments do not come around often. I played in one MLS Cup final in 13 years. We lost, and now I haven't been back. And it's very difficult to get back. In professional sports, getting to finals sometimes is the hardest part. MLS Cup 2018 between Atlanta United and the Portland Timbers in front of more than 70,000 fans here in the South is underway. The first five, 10 minutes, I think, were very, obviously, you know, it's a final, you know, it's very, very emotional and, and, and people, you know, were, both teams weren't at the best at that time, you know, like it's, it's just a lot of like feeling, feeling each other out and, and then you kind of go from there. Gressel down behind the play, Garza saved the cross in on the road, looking for the overhead, Antonella able to make the save and knock it away. had him pinned in there, deep in their end of the field. Um, their striker had checked to the ball, and um, they didn't have anybody else really up high, so I was free to, to go with him and, and, and try and pin them in. And so you know, he had a few yards on me, but um, his first touch was a little bit heavy. Um, we had seen on film, and I had even talked to Brad before the game, that when he checks, he likes to turn to his right. And um, so I, I figured he would, so I was on his right shoulder. Um, I saw him look that way, and, and I knew he was going to try and lay it off, so I just slid to try and block the pass. Um, you know, and from there, you know, we're, we're fortunate that it lands at the best goal scorer's feet in, in MLS history. Oh, we see a good tackle by Parker. It's almost going to fall for Martinez. That's it, I'll try to get there. Martinez finishes the giveaway at the back, the opening goal. Oh, it had to be him, didn't it? It had to be Joseph Martinez. About a half a second I thought, okay, surely he's going to be offsides. He can't be that wide open uh, and have the ball at his feet. So he's going to get he's going to get called for offsides. Linesman kept his flag down. Um, and then at that point I knew, I knew Joseph would take care of business and, and do what he always does and put the ball back in the net. Parker reads it, he makes the challenge. Bridgewell can't get there then. And then there's the calm, there's the composure from Joseph Martinez, and that is why he has 34 goals this season, because it just slows down for him in these moments. You know, 
a lot of tough memories from MLS Cups before. Um, yeah, really, really painful memories. consecutive season, the New England Revolution, go home heartbroken. That is it, Cascadia reigns. It's a first for the Timbers, a first for the Pacific Northwest. You don't know how many opportunities you're gonna get. And uh, you know, after 2015, I thought maybe, you know, that was my last chance. Lo que pasa es que cuando comencé el partido, yo le dije a Miguel que, que el partido lo ganaba él que tenía que disfrutar este partido, puede ser uno de los últimos que, que, que íbamos a estar dentro. Eh, le agradecí por todo el año que tuvimos, le agradecí por todo, por su amistad y que por favor me hiciera, me hiciera salir campeón. Looking to test Jeff Antonell has made one save tonight. Wrestle the fake this time. Almiron swinging in. Martinez on the back side of goal. Well, never mind your Martinez's and your Almiron's. How about right back Franco Escobar putting Atlanta two up? I saw the ball go in from Miguel, and I actually said, as the ball was in the air, I knew it was going to get to Joseph. I thought Joseph was going to score the goal. I actually said, as the ball was in the air, I said, goal. Uh, you know, to Miguel, it was a goal, or a golazo, or something. And, uh, and, and he ended up just flicking it on, and Franco was, you know, right there, perfect, you know, obviously. Lo que pasa es que yo pensé que la pelota iba a entrar, que, o, la, o la pelota iba al arco. Pero después vi la repetición y la pelota iba afuera. Entonces, nada. Franquito ha estado siempre en los momentos indicados, en el momento preciso y más cuando se necesita. The first goal was big um, in the sense that it, it gave us, it unlocked them a little bit, but gave us that, that belief and that, that positive feeling. Uh, the second goal was huge because it, it kind of solidified um, our, you know, stance in the game in, in terms of being two goals up at home with the crowd that we had, the uh, the dream started to, to, to become a reality at that point, I think. Seventy three thousand and nineteen, a cup record, a playoff record, an overall record. They got their phones out with the lights. This is special. It must have been the 94th minute, I saw the ref say, there's one more minute. And that, at that point, it was like, it hit me where it's like, oh, we got this, you know, we won. Like, uh, I finally got it. Uh, so when he blew the whistle, uh, it was just such relief, such joy, uh, a combination of the two. In front of a record crowd at the end of a record setting year, Atlanta United in just their second year of existence have won MLS Cup. two years, Atlanta United has changed the trajectory for sports in this city. There is a positivity, there is just a quality, and there is a never say die attitude that I think we've always looked for, right? You know, you never felt like tonight, once this team got going, there wasn't a whole lot to be afraid of, was there? confident performance from Atlanta United. Tata Martino wins a final. A lot of people said he couldn't win a final. Michael Parkhurst wins a final. Fifth time at MLS Cup, Michael Parkhurst wins that final. And what might be Miguel Almiron's last time here, he goes out as a champion as well. Unbelievable performance in the final. Atlanta United gave you championship.
I actually ran over to, to Parky, you know, first, uh, our captain and, and the guy that's been, been so valuable to me as a person, as a, you know, as a player, as a, as a teammate, you know, he's been, he, I've, I've leaned on him quite a bit and he's been, you know, he's been amazing. And, uh, you know, after, after have lo having lost four MLS Cups, I think he's, you know, a guy that, you know, deserves this really more than anybody else. To be a part of this team, this club, um, to be able to give a championship, a major championship to the city of Atlanta, nobody can ever take that away from us. Espero que nosotros nos recuerden como, como los héroes. Just an incredible feeling uh, to be in the locker room, to celebrate, to taste the champagne, um, pop the bottles and celebrate with the guys. I had, I had heard it in previous MLS Cups through the walls and, and wanted to know what that felt like. So to be able to experience it last night was special. Uh, it's a night I'll never forget.